What is up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. It's been a while since we've been back in the garden. We're here to find the headmaster. It looks like the faculty, they're all up in arms looking for him too. Wait a minute. Seize him and kill him? Okay, some shit has clearly gone down in the interim while we've been away from Balam. So last time we blew up the Galbadian missile base but we didn't do it in time to stop the missiles from being launched at Balam Garden. So we've come back here to warn the headmaster and to get the students evacuated, but it seems there's been a little bit of a coup. Which side are we on? Which side are we on? Which sides are there, for that matter? Do you swear your allegiance to Garden Master Norg? What a name! Garden Master Norg. Uh, so, we're clearly gonna be siding with Sid. We don't know who this Norg guy is, except that he is the head of the Garden. Uh, so we have two factions now. He's the ruler of Balam Garden. We have two factions. We have the pro Headmaster and the pro Garden Master side. And... The situation here is pretty damn dire. It's basically devolved into rioting and kind of a, a mini civil war down here in uh, Balam Garden. So, as if things weren't bad enough with missiles on their way to wipe this place out. Oh, right, I can go back here and talk to the kid hunched over and he gives me a potion, I think? Remedy, maybe? Mega Potion. As if things weren't bad enough with the missiles on their way, we have an uprising to quell. And hey, it's Fujin and Raijin! Raijin and Fujin. Yeah, everyone's picking sides, choosing, uh, factions. Man, what a f terrible time. Poor timing for this shit to... Man, Fujin is what I wish Jody was. Just yelling out one word, uh, one word, exclamations. Disturbing, rage, sincere. Okay, well, Fujin and Raijin are gonna remain loyal to Cypher, but for now, they're gonna do their part in helping out getting all the students evacuated. Meanwhile, we'll go and find Sid and try to get shit under control. Now... Sid is... Well, I'm not gonna spoil where Sid is. We can't get to him yet for really arbitrary reasons, even though I know where to go. If I try to go to him right now, I believe the game just won't let me. Uh, hey, it's Granaldo. Granaldo Martinez. Cinco, cinco, cinco. Nueve dos, nueve dos. Been a while since we've seen this guy. He doesn't have his Raldos with him this time, though. Oh, I can't card him either. So we have a lot of force battles to go through in Balam Garden right now, along with random battles because I guess the Garden faculty have just released monsters and uh, sick them on. The students fleeing, the students who remain loyal to Sid. Hey, Dr. Katawaki. Also been a long, long time since we've seen her. Since the beginning of the game, I think it was. When she was bandaging up uh, Squall after his duel with Cypher in the, from the intro cutscene. There are a lot of forced battles to go through here in Balam Garden because the game wants you to go down every one of these honeycombed pathways uh, that ring the outer perimeter of the garden. They want you to go through everything. They want you to go through the staging area for the festival. They want you to go to the library, the training center, uh, the infirmary back there the cafeteria, they want you to go all over the place and down every single one of those pathways is a garden faculty member waiting for you 
with uh, a monster specific to that particular area. So, lots of unavoidable fighting to be done here. If you're trying to go through here without leveling up, make sure that you're not too, too buff for the area, that you're not overpowering everything and killing everything in one hit, so that you can card stuff. Uh, the very few things that you can't card, I believe you can use a uh, break to petrify them. Which, I think it was just the uh, Granaldo enemy. I don't know why I'm still saying its name with the accent. Uh, this is not going to be a problem, though. I'm try even though I am overpowered for this. Wow, that's a high hit. Even though I am overpowered for this, I'm still going to at least try to card a few things uh, to keep my average party level down as low as I can. I'm not going to succeed very well at carding too many things. Everything's getting one-shotted between Squall and Zell. Especially Squall, but even Zell with uh, 60 triples hitting for like about 900 a hit is still too much for everything. Uh, I'm with the Headmaster's faction. How about you guys? Yeah, who is this Garden Master? He's just kind of been introduced, dropped onto us. We got little hints uh, that there is maybe a slightly more malevolent presence behind the garden who the faculty were loyal to. They did seem like like assholes. Uh, they even went, a, went so far as to uh, kind of boss it around a little bit in some of our previous interactions with them. So he's been behind the scenes, but we don't know much about Norg. Norg! Uh, we're gonna run away from these random battles, so... Even though, ah, uh, what the hell are these guys called? Bombs and Glacial Spikes, I think. Really like the way they look. They're also a very good source, uh, in the very beginning of the game to draw... Blizzard from, I believe... Maybe Blizzar? No, Blizz- No, there's no way that's Blizzar in the beginning of the game. It's Blizzard. A uh, good source of that if you're just starting the game out and you want a decent bit of magic early on. You can just find those uh, in the same field around Balam Garden that you fight the bite bugs in. Uh, are you just sticking me here with a bomb? That's it? One enemy? Fuck. Well, even Zell's gonna one-shot this. I'm gonna try to card it anyway. Mm, 860... Nah. Way too much damage. I could just, you know take a couple of triples off of Zell and I would get less XP that way, but eh. I'll be happy if I finish the game below level 20, which I'm pretty well on pace to do. Okay, so they barricaded themselves in the cafeteria and split them up and it was all Zoo's idea. Sue. Zoo or Sue? I thought it I thought the X is pronounced as a Z. Oh, I feel weird today. Anyway. Uh, we have still the other half of the garden. I believe the gray strip leads to the dormitories? I don't remember if you have to come in here. Yeah, you have to fight all of the garden faculty, I do believe. Before it will let you, uh, go to the area where Sid is. You're siding with the Headmaster? Like how they just teleport away and you can't fight them. Man, I really want to fight those things. Those guys. Such bastards. Shady, mysterious, villainous... ...assholes. Love to get shot in on those. Oh, I didn't actually have to come into the dorm. Hey, Irvine Azel! This is where I keep my gumbly. <laughs> ah, shit, random battle. Uh, what do we- no. Not even bothering with that. There is, uh, one particular enemy that can pop up in here that if I see it, I will fight. Because I don't think we've encountered one of them before. Not entirely 
sure, though. I'm trying to remember all of the monsters that can pop up in here as random fights. Uh, I want to say this is... Whew, library or cafeteria? Ah, shit, I can't remember. No, this isn't the library. No, we were in the cafeteria, damn. What am I saying? I feel kind of out of it today. If that hasn't been... Uh... Very apparent so far. I think, I think this one can take a hit from Zell. Good! I should be able to card this one, no problem. And it missed! It survives a hit, and carding misses. Oh uh, well. That's gonna be some XP. God damn, I think I went from... Like a level 11 to 14 in here. Shit. Ah, oh, this is the parking garage. Ah, uh, we thought we found Sid, but it was actually just a hologram. Pretty cool, huh? Bunch of assholes in here. Ah, uh, wasting my time. So, I believe we still have the library and the training center to hit up. Yep. Green is training center, and the last one, the blue area, is the library. Last time we were in the training center was uh, the first time we fought that Grinaldo enemy. Junior classmen are being attacked by the faculty. They're really junior classmen. I was not looking at the one who is actually a member here. I was just looking at the stupid children. <laughs> wow, kid! His, he should have no legs. He should no longer have legs. How is he running away? Squall jumped into frame and cut his legs. Oh, here we go. Finally, we have something that I don't have to hold back against. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to one-shot this with Squall. Or Zell, for that matter. Yeah, the T-Rex stars! These things are so cool! 8,500? Holy shit! That is really, really high! Uh, watch this card miss. No, I got it! I got a T-Rex star card. I love that enemy. They are monstrous. If you come in here unprepared. I think they're, like, one of the earliest enemies with, a uh, five-digit health. Man, I can't believe I hit for 8,500 on that thing. I guess he's weak to ice? I think I have Blizzard Junction to Elemental Attack, so I guess T-Rexers are weak to it. Because, uh, yeah, that's pretty close to the damage cap, which, if you don't know, uh, the damage cap in Final Fantasy games is traditionally 9,999 damage. Traditionally, you can't go above that, that's where it caps out. Although, there are ways to break that cap, which I will show you later. In fact, I think 8 might have been the first game in which you can break the cap. Don't quote me on that. I need to double check that. Uh, the thing about the damage cap in Squall, though, why I'm so surprised the Squall is hitting that hard, is because Squall can't naturally hit the damage cap with plain normal attacks, uh, unaided. You need either elemental weaknesses to take advantage of, or you need, uh, to buff Squall up with things like, uh, the Berserk status effect, which will increase his damage output. Or something along those lines. Uh, that's the only way Squall can hit that damage cap with normal attacks, even if he has max strength in his final weapon, the Lionheart. Now, the reason that Squall's damage cap for his normal attacks is lower than all of the other characters is because he is the only character who you can make crit reliably. He can do a critical attack every single time if you have the timing down. You can make sure he always lands that critical hit. Other characters, all the other playable characters, 
have luck-based critical attacks. Now, because of that, uh, Squaresoft made Squall's critical attacks deal only 150% normal damage. Whereas everybody else who has luck-based crits, who can't do it reliably, their crits are stronger. Their crits hit for uh, double damage. That said, limit breaks and other things make the fact that Squall is slightly weaker in his base attack damage uh, totally irrelevant. Because he can, in fact, hit that damage cap uh, with his limit breaks, so even if he's not hitting, hitting it with uh, normal attacks, it doesn't matter at all. So, this is where Sid has been the whole time, not facing the camera. I uh, kind of forgot where I was going. Uh, he is, his office is on the uh, upper floor. He's been in his office the whole goddamn time. And even if you know that, I don't think the game lets you come up here until you explore the rest of the lower floor of the garden. The ground floor. So... While well, everyone's been in a panic, he's just chilling up here in the office. Alright, time to deliver a little bit of bad news. Oh, that was already done for us. But the intercoms are down. Luckily, Raijin and Fujin are taking care of things. Yeah, kind of a lot to report. You... <laughs> oh, that's dark thoughts, Squall. Captain's planning on going down with a ship, it seems. Which, that... Metaphor might be a little bit more appropriate in a second. So... Wait a minute. Oh, I had to move over to talk to him again. Sid has some kind of plan here. Yeah, why does Squall want to know so bad? Because this place is important to me. Because I want to find out your plan because it's his home. Got a lot of reasons, but he's just to tell him, My feelings have nothing to do with it, sir. And my favorite line in this exchange, Quistus is right. You do have issues expressing your feelings. Great. Why am I being judged? Anyway, this building used to be a shelter. Blomgarden was originally built as a shelter. So he's handed us a key that will grant us access to the underbelly of Blomgarden. Where... Not even Sid really knows what to do. We're just gonna probe around down there and hope for the best. Hope we can find some kind of solution, some way to activate whatever shelter mechanism was put into place in the garden. So, we're heading downstairs. I don't think there's anything else I can do up here. I'm remembering back to, uh, the last time we left his office. That thought crossed my mind because if, uh... The, the previous encounter with him in his office, if you leave without having gotten the battle meter from him, you just can't get it ever again. That's the only point in the game. So I just want to mentally make sure that I'm not missing out on anything I can't come back for later. But we're good to go. What a thrill With darkness and silence through the night I'm searching and I'll melt. Oh, long ladders always require that song. And long elevator trips always necessitate the Mass Effect elevator music. <laughs> Goddamn, Squall, that took a lot of effort. For some reason, this one scene down here reminds me of a... Uh, a section from 
I don't even remember which Legacy of Kane it was. And out of nowhere, we just get a random reminder about the elemental attack junctions. Oh shit. I hit the wrong button and he repeated it. That used to happen to me all the damn time in Ocarina of Time with that stupid owl repeating his instructions as you're trying to mash through his dialogue. You mash through his dialogue, and then at the end of it, he's like, Would you like me to repeat this? And you accidentally mash yes. Ah. Uh, at least that wasn't one of, like, Quistus's insanely long tutorials, but, like, we're... in the middle of disc two here. We shouldn't need that tutorial at this point. Okay, that should be square. So I'm just gonna mash... 10 seconds, and... Uh... Failed? Do you always fail that, or was I just not mashing hard enough? Oh, well, Zelda's gonna come help out. I'll mash harder this time. Get myself carpal tunnel doing this. Good. Good. Uh, I believe that opens up the floor in the room that we just came from so that we can continue our descent down via another snake eater ladder. What a fear in my heart, but you're so supreme. Garden does not look like it should be this big. Like this, this seems like the most impossible of impossible spaces. And hey, full life draw point. We'll take more of those. Sure. Got a decent stock of full lives going. Think we're about a quarter of the way to maxing one character out on full lives. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ah, uh, another ladder leading all the way up across this catwalk and into what looks like the control room. Now what? Now what? Uh, I don't think any of these matter, but I guess I'll go check it out on my own. If I can find it. I'm pixel hunting here for... Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe that's not the Latin. No, it is. I'm pixel hunting for the exact spot that it will let me interact with the ladder. This place is fucking ladder palooza. Ah, oh, that hurt. Alright, we're just gonna mash on this control panel. Flip some levers, turn some dials, mash on some buttons, and hey, everything worked out for the best. Now, how to get out of here? The door is blocked. So, I guess the only other way out of here is the window. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it was kind of close. Yeah, the missiles, they're kind of a uh, priority, aren't they? Oh, the draw point didn't uh, replenish. I don't know why I thought it would. Is there anything else in here? I thought there was... A, I know somewhere around here there's a hidden bio draw point, but I don't exactly remember where. Anyway. You just come back to this blinking green light. It's your very obvious visual cue to hop your ass on another ladder. Yeah, I'll save here, why not? It's been a bit since I've saved and I'm getting a little bit paranoid. You know, 
given that I'm so paranoid, I, I should probably rotate my saves a little better. It's all good, though. So, we are almost where we need to be, but we have these two things in our way. Uh, these two fellows are known as Oil Boils, and they are bastards. They love using status ailments. Uh, they can blind you, which doesn't matter for Squall because, again, he has special properties. Uh, Squall will always hit even when blinded, but it can suck for anyone else. And uh, the Oil Boils also use an attack called Sonic Wave, which they didn't get a chance to do, but Sonic Wave inflicts curse on everyone, I think. And Curse is a status ailment that prevents your limit breaks from working. It prevents you from using limit breaks, uh, rather. So they have some nasty status effects they can inflict. I believe they also have an attack that halves everybody's HP. But they were the last things between us and another ladder! You didn't think we were done climbing, did you? It's fucking ladder time up in Balam Garden. I don't know how the missiles have still not made it here yet. I don't know how we got here before the missiles did. Because we were on our way when they first launched. I don't know how we beat them here. We saw them launch. We were like... We were right next to the missile base when, they, when that happened. Ah, well. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I think those were the ones bound for Trabia. Right, right, right. Still, feel like slow-moving missiles. Yeah, Squall does have a point. The hell is he supposed to know what he's doing? Headmaster Sid sure as hell didn't. But just randomly flailing around on the controls. Did something. Oh, this music kicks ass! The garden just flew away. We are getting into some shit now. For more, we're gonna have to wait until next time. If you like this video, 
Be sure to leave me a like, a thumbs up, uh, drop me a comment, share the video around, subscribe if you will, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching everyone, take it easy, have a good one.